Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off. Uh, it's a G registration, so either 68 or 69. Uh, VW Type 2A low light that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine starting and idling action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, let's have a look around this uh, rather lovely G registration. So it's either 1968 or 69. VW Type 2A um, low light, finished in red with a white roof. Uh, very much like one we had a little while ago, but uh, this one is slightly older. In really nice condition. Um, it's a Westphalia. It's got the Westphalia interior, certainly. Um, and left-hand drive, as they almost always are. Imported from the US a few years ago. Haven't been through the history yet. Just take a slow walk round it. Paint, work, paint and body work wise, it's absolutely lovely. Looks really, really nice. So we'll get down to the nitty gritty in a minute. See what we can find to criticise. Not a lot, I don't think, especially in terms of its uh, of its bodywork. Um, it's all good around the front end. I think I'm not an expert in uh, VW Type Twos. I think it may have been lowered very slightly. Somebody that's uh, more of an expert than me will be able to tell me. Uh, I think it's sitting. They turn the torsion bars round just one notch. I think at the front. I think. Can't be absolutely sure of that. Make your own mind up if you're an expert. Um, but looking down the sides, she's beautifully straight down there. It's really good. It's just, you know, I'm struggling to find uh, anything really negative to say about it. Um, door cards are all nice. Interior is lovely. I'm not a fan of that gear lever, I must admit. And we did buy another gear knob thinking we could just, uh, an original style gear knob thinking we could just screw it on. And apparently you can't, the, um, the gear lever and the, uh, um, and that thing on top are one and the same. But that's my personal preference. Um, you can see in the photos the, uh, uh, the pop roof up and everything and the rock and roll bed down. No, it's lovely in there. Even the carpets are, uh, are nice, they've obviously been quite well cut, they're uh, not the original carpets. Clearly it wouldn't have had them, it would have had rubber mats, but um, yeah, quite well done. It's got a luggage rack on the back of it, back of the roof. Um, what have we got here? There's a very slight mark on the rear bumper, just very low down just there. And I think there's a very slight dink in the rear bumper from memory. Difficult to see in this light, but yeah, just about there. You can see it there. And a couple of marks just up here. That really is about your lot. Again, looking down the offside, looks great. Just a polish mark. And again in here. Even comes with a free butterfly. Oh, now you go. You don't want to be in there. Mm, sad. I think the butterfly's dead. Yep. Um, and then in here, as I say, there's its Westphalia ID plate. Lots of storage. Just very, very nice, in my opinion. So, I think there we have it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. We can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information. Okay, quick video of start up from hot on this uh, VW Type 2A low light. Ignition light comes up, 
fuel gauge goes up and starts nicely, starts well whether it's hot or cold this one. Um, oil pressure when it's hot at idle, as you can see, if you flip the throttle it goes up. Anyway, we'll show you the engine 